So on this episode, I'm going to share with you 10 things, 10 questions to ask your contractor. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm your host, Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. Really appreciate you guys tuning in here. There's a lot of things that you could be watching and you chose to watch this, to click on this, so I really appreciate that. Before we get started, before I share the, 10, the top 10 questions to ask your contractor, I wanna invite you to like, comment, share, subscribe, wherever you're watching this. If you're watching this on my main hub, it's all about therealestate.com. Please go ahead and sign up for my weekly newsletter, email newsletter, where I send these videos out to you every week uh, so that you don't miss out on this. Uh, and I also have a monthly email newsletter that goes out and uh, it's packed with valuable articles and some of the videos for the show as well. So I just don't want you to miss out on valuable content. So go ahead and follow me on social media and uh, let's connect. So I really appreciate you guys watching this episode. now. Somebody was asking me, what are some of the things that I should ask a contractor, okay? Now, I'm not a contractor, I'm a realtor, okay? But, you know, being in this industry, the real estate industry, I come across things, uh, homeowners doing projects or asking questions or whatnot, and that's the point of this show, is to answer questions for you. So I put together uh, the top 10 questions that you should ask a contractor. You want to feel comfortable when you are choosing your contractor and a lot of times people they may get a referral from some family member or whatnot and i can tell you well that's a good place to start you still want to ask the questions it doesn't matter if you have somebody redoing your home or just fixing rotted wood on the outside of your home you want to make sure that you're asking these questions okay so let's go ahead and dive into these top 10 questions so number one is how long have you been doing business, right? Have you been doing business for a while? And if you are new, okay, what are your skills and qualifications? Always ask how long they have been doing business. Now, number two is do you guarantee your work? A credible contractor is going to guarantee their work. Um, you may be able to get somebody who is just a handyman, right? Uh, who can save you a lot of money. However, they may not guarantee their work unless you know them personally, but you, I'm a fan of having things in writing. As a realtor, we have things in writing. So you just wanna make sure that you're asking whether or not the contractor guarantees their work. Number three is, can you itemize your bid? This is huge. So if you get a quote and it says, for example, um, repair um, outside areas, right? Uh, 20 grand or hey, I'm doing sign, itemize it. Have them provide a list of like, for example, materials cost, right? How much do they feel the materials will cost if they do that separate on a line item? Just make sure that they, you know, like labor, uh, cost of uh, whatever, like a dumpster, right? Roofers, they bring out a dumpster and they, okay, have them itemize all these things so that you have a clear picture of how much you are paying per category. Uh, we're at number four, who's gonna be here every day? So, okay, Mr. or Mrs. Contractor, I hire you, right? Who's gonna be here? Are you gonna be here every day checking in on your staff? Is it just you? Who is going to be here managing the work? Or is nobody gonna be here, right? Sometimes contractors, they'll bounce around from job to job, which is okay if they're doing something major for your house, right? They may go over to this job and, and then come back to yours in the afternoon or whatever the case may be. But just ask them the question, who's gonna be here every day and who's gonna be holding the people accountable to do the work? Number five is how will you protect my property? Uh, let me go back to the roofing example, right? Um, you know, they're on the roof, multiple people, that I've seen, right? They bring out a whole crew for tearing off the old roof. Uh, are they gonna put tarps down? Are they gonna put boards over windows for say, right? They basically, they don't actually nail it on, but I've seen I've seen roofers where they actually put a big piece of plywood leaned up over the window so that when they're throwing stuff down, it doesn't hit the window, the glass or anything. How are you going to protect my home? Don't just come out and just do a bunch of demo and 
just wreck other parts of my house. Tell me how are you going to protect my home? Uh, believe it or not, number six. Are you licensed to work in my location? So if they have to have a license, you want to make sure that they are licensed to work in your area. Very important. Number seven, will you obtain the necessary permits? So do I have to go to the city and get the permits or are you? If I was having somebody do the work, I would have the contractor go because that's their area of expertise. They've probably done it before if they're experienced. I would have them go and get the permits and just let me know, again, itemize it. Okay, the permit to do your driveway because we're adding on an apron, right? Or, um, you know, we're, we're going, we're gonna be adding on something on the city side, so you have to have a permit. Okay, not dive into that, but am I getting the permit or are you? My personal opinion, I would have the contractor get the permit because they know what they're talking about, right? So, uh, number eight is how, Will you communicate with me, the homeowner, the person hiring you? So, um, do you give me a weekly update? Are you gonna call me uh, every day? Are we, gonna, are we gonna talk? Like if I'm home in the afternoon, are you gonna drop by in the afternoon and kind of give me a, a heads up, an update? How are we going to communicate with each other? The number one issue that I hear from homeowners when they go to hire somebody and they're not that great is they just fell off the face of the earth, right? So. You want to ask them up front, how are you going to communicate with me? Now, it doesn't mean that they're going to do it well, right? It just means that you're asking. You're showing them that, hey, you're on top of it. Uh, number nine, is there anything about my project that concerns you? Do you foresee any problems if you're going to, let's say, open up a wall, right? Uh, is there something, I mean, obviously issues can arise, but do you see something right off the bat that might be a concern? Uh, is it too hard to reach a certain part of my house? Uh, do you have the equipment to do that? Uh, for example, let me share with you something briefly where one of my neighbors was getting their uh, tree trimmed and they were just doing, you know, small trees, right? And I wanted mine done and I was like, oh, I should get a quote from them. I go over there and real nice, real nice guy over there, company, uh, he said, oh, you know what? We appreciate you co coming over and asking us about our services but we only trim trees up to about 12 feet. They don't have the equipment, and they're honest with me, they don't have the equipment to go any higher, and nor do they desire to do that. So, simple question, ask them, hey, do you have any concerns about my job on my house? And the last one, but certainly not least, right, there's a lot of questions you can ask your contractor, but number 10 is, what kind of documentation will I receive after the job is done? If you guarantee your work, I want it in writing. I want something quite honestly upfront too, so that I know before I hire you and before I give you a deposit and then I pay for it in full, what type of documents am I gonna have so I can put in my folder in my house in case I have an issue down the road? And again, it depends on what type of work you're doing, but if you're hiring a contractor, chances are it's gonna be big work. So you wanna make sure that you ask these questions. These are, I just shared with you 10 questions that you could ask your contractor, but obviously there's more. Um, if you have a question, by the way, feel free to put it in the comments below. Uh, you know, share that. Maybe I missed something, but these are definitely the top 10 that you should be asking. And ultimately, go with your gut. If you don't have a good feeling about a professional or whatnot, if you don't feel comfortable hiring somebody, just something is just wrong. Trust your instinct on that because chances are your instinct is right. So those are the top 10 questions. I really appreciate you guys watching this episode. Um, this is a weekly show, by the way, for those of you just watching this for the first time. So I put out a show every week on major social media as well as my website, thoughtabouttherealestate.com. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. Share your thoughts in the comment below. Follow me on social media. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you next week.